Haven't we all learned from horror movies not to play with the Ouija board? Hi everyone, I'm Sandra Matos. Welcome to IO. In Mexico, three American friends were rushed to hospital after they were possessed by evil spirits. Why? because they were playing with the Ouija board. If you're not familiar with the term Ouija board, it's also known as a spirit board or talking board. Alexandra Hirto, 22 years old, was playing the game with her brother Sergio, who was 23, and 18 year old cousin Fernando. Minutes into the game, Alexandra started growling and thrashing herself around suddenly. It was like she got into this trance like state. <laughs> Sergio and Fernando also reported signs of experiencing possession. They experienced symptoms like numbness, double vision, actually going blind, deafness, and hallucinations. Paramedics were then called to the house and all three were taken to hospital. And it wasn't an easy task for the paramedics to get them to the hospital. They were behaving very erratically, like their movements were just out of control. Will you be playing with the Ouija board now? Or are you just not a believer of the spirit board and think it's just nonsense? Some people say it's only real if you believe in it. Mainstream religions and some occultists have associated the use of a Ouija board with the concept of demonic possession and have cautioned their followers to not use one. Let me tell you, I will never let one of those boards near me. There are literally people that will run from you if they see you with a Ouija board and they will close the door on your face. I would too, no jokes there. So I'm wondering, have any of you ever used a Ouija board? And if so, did anything weird, scary, crazy, demonic, crazy happen to you? Let me know in the comments below.